Form 8962, or the Premium Tax Credit, is used to calculate the amount of premium tax credit you're eligible to claim if you paid premiums for health insurance purchased through the health insurance marketplace. Claiming the premium tax credit may reduce your tax liability for the calendar year. Make sure to only use secure channels to fill out and submit your form. You can either download your copy from the IRS website or get the current revision of Form 8962 that you can edit, sign, and submit electronically at pdfiller.com. Form 8962 is a two-page form split into five parts. Start by filling out your name and social security number. Proceed to part one to indicate your annual and monthly contribution amounts using your family size, modified adjusted gross income, and household income. In line one, enter the number of exemptions indicated in Form 1040 or Form 1040A. Use lines 2A and 2B to provide your modified AGI. Enter your household income in line three by adding the amounts stated in lines 2A and 2B. Select the appropriate choice and enter the value in line four. To make the calculations needed to complete lines 5 through 8, see the IRS instructions for Form 8962. In Part 2, you will need to reconcile your advanced premium tax credit received with monthly premium amounts. Select the appropriate option in Lines 9 and 10. In Line 11, fill the annual totals in the table. In Lines 12 through 23, fill out the monthly amounts under each column. Indicate the total tax premium credit on Line 24 and the advance payment of PTC on Line 25. Follow the instructions to calculate the net premium tax credit and indicate it in line 26. In part three, you will need to calculate any excess advance payment of PTC based on the information you provided in part two. In line 27, enter the excess advance payment of PTC. Enter the repayment limitation in line 28. Use line 29 to provide the excess advance premium tax credit repayment. In part four, you will need to allocate policy amounts. Part 5 is used for alternative calculations for years married. Use IRS Form 1095A to complete each section of the form, as well as your Form 1040, which shows your modified adjusted gross income. Once all the fields are completed and checked off, you can save the resulting document to your device, print it out, or email it to your recipient in one click. Good luck and don't forget to submit your Form 8962 before the due date established by the IRS.